Hi, it's Patrick with Above and Beyond Sewing and Vacuum again. I wanted to today talk a little bit more on um, some of the IQ features on the Solaris and the Destiny. Um, today we're going to talk about some innovative ways that you can use the no sew feature on your machines. Again, the no sew feature um, in your IQ designer is actually a really powerful tool um, and we can do some really fun things with it um, by using our imagination a little bit. So. Um, let me start. What I've always taught on the no-sew feature is setting an area um, where we actually are protecting a, a design. So say, uh, again, this is the cupcake that we actually had done in a previous exercise. Um, so let's say we wanted to, we had this wonderful block that we all, had all appliqued, and now we wanted to actually do some of our decorative fills around it, or we wanted to stipple around it. Okay, we can actually protect that um, that cupcake by um, setting a no-sew area all the way around it. This is the more traditional way of using that no-sew feature um, to actually stipple around this an already embroidered design. So that's what I'll show you first. Then we're going to actually show you how to build a hole in a design. And then we're going to actually show you how to section off designs using the no-sew feature. So we've got some really neat things that we can show with that. Let's get started here with the cupcake and protecting him and putting some stippling or decorative stitching around him. So again, whenever we're dealing with setting an area, um, it's the same principle as I was talking to you about in, um, in our applique exercise, where all we want to do is take a picture of our fabric. We don't really need to the machine to recognize this or anything else. We're going to manually set the area for it. In order to do that, again, on the Solaris, we're going to come up and we're going to touch our um, scanning options and we're going to do an image scan, which is just again going to take a picture of our fabric. So touch the image scan, we're going to touch the scan button and it is actually going to just scan the hoop that we have on our machine into the, onto the screen. So if we wanted to put stippling around it, it's going to be important for us to do two things. First thing that we need to do is actually do a perimeter area around the design. So in this instance, we've got a five by seven hoop selected. Okay. And so we can actually very easily tell the machine if we wanted to stipple inside of that five by seven hoop, we can very easily tell the machine that we want to set an outside perimeter using our shapes tab. We can go in and pick uh, in this little hoop icon up here. We can pick now again. I'm actually in millimeters. Um, I want to actually switch this to inches, which we're going to do in our preferences screen. And again, we're going to go to page nine on our preferences screen. And I want to switch to inches on here because all my hoop sizes will come up in inches and it's a little bit easier for me to understand. I have my five by seven hoop. I'm going to touch that and now what it's done is it's set an outside perimeter for my stippling at 5 by 7 which is exactly what I have in on the on the machine. Now um, another thing that I'm going to show you after this is if we wanted to sh um, if we wanted to set a custom area say you had a 4 by 4 um, cupcake um, or a 4 by 4 uh, block that you have embroidered on we can actually use our shapes tab to tell it that we've got a four or to actually set a four by four area as a perimeter. So you don't have to go with the presets. You can also make custom areas really nice and easy um, by, um, uh, by utilizing your shapes tab here. So anyway, I've got my five by seven area set. Next thing that I want to do on that right now, that five by seven area is set to a satin stitch. I don't want a satin stitch around there. I don't want it to sew anything. So I'm going to touch my sew, no sew option and I'm going to make sure by touching my little bucket fill here that I'm going to pour stitches and you hear that little click. That means that the machine understood me and that it knows that I don't want to sew that external area that I had just set. So the next thing that I want to do is set the internal or um, just to protect my cupcake. So that's going to be the next portion of this. 
And I'm going to do that simply by, again, going into my line image um, fills. I've already got my no so selected. I'm going to set my point to point tool here. I'm going to grab my mouse because my mouse is my best friend when I'm doing this. So I've got my mouse on there now. I've got my point to point tool selected and my no so option selected. All you have to do is touch OK. And now we're going to physically set an area around my cupcake. Again, all I'm doing is protecting the cupcake. So I don't want the stippling to sew over the top of it. So I'm just going to go around and physically put a barrier around my cupcake. And I'm going to just go ahead. You can get as close to the cupcake as you want, as far away as you want. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to just go all the way around him here. And you can see it makes the, the screen is really nice and it lets you know exactly where we've touched and where we need to touch. And once we get close, it's going to seal that area up. So I have my cupcake completely protected here. So the last part of this little, little step is going to be to fill in between my outside perimeter and my protected area. And I'm going to do that simply by coming up and we're going to pick, you could pick stippling if you wanted to. We can actually also go in and touch any of our decorative fills, which is a really cool idea. Again, this is on both the Solaris and the Destiny. You've got a ton of fill options. They're a lot of fun. Um, uh, you can experiment with them, find ones that you like. Um, it's a, a neat way to actually embellish a block. I'm going to go ahead and pick number 25 down here. Touch OK. And again, I've got a color selected. And all I'm going to need to do is touch my little um, bucket here, which is, again, a, a fill option. And we're going to touch anywhere between my outside perimeter and my um, protected area. And it's going to fill in around that cupcake, nice and simple. So again, this is actually going to physically sew out into the empty space here on my cupcake. Okay, so that is as uh, easy as it is. Again, you just set the area around there, then you um, set the perimeter, and then you can fill in in between those two different things. So that's one of the wonderful things about that no sew option. So. Second thing that I want to show you is actually going to be in um, uh, setting an, or separating a design. So say we wanted to, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull a design into my IQ designer. And again, remember when we're actually pulling these designs in, we can do it several different ways. We're, in this instance, going to create a line design because I actually want the machine to set stitches to this particular design that I'm going to pull in. Okay, so again, we're going to pull a design in. We can actually pull it in from a USB stick. Um, uh, say you had Google Art or you had um, um, any design that's a digital file. Um, we can actually go in and I've got a USB stick on the side of my machine. I'm going to touch my USB connection. Um, I've got my whole life on this USB stick, so I've got a lot of stuff on here. But we're going to go ahead and find a design that I can play with here. Maybe. And... That's the one I'm looking for. So we're going to pull Audrey up into the screen here. And there's our Audrey. So we're going to touch set. And Audrey's just a line drawing that, and she has this wonderful hat. And again, um, I'm just pulling her in to, to digitize her. And we're going to touch OK. And we're going to touch set. And now we're ready to digitize Audrey. So um, now again, Audrey has this really long band in the front of her hat here. Um, let's pretend that um, right now if I fill that uh, band in, it's actually going to fill it in all the way across. So let's say that I didn't want to actually fill that particular 
uh, the whole band in the same color. Or maybe I wanted to do the middle of the band as a decorative fill instead of a satin fill. So I'm going to actually undo that. Um, and we're going to actually use our no sew icon in order to block off this areas, these areas so we can fill this band in different colors. So I'm going to go up and we're going to actually again pick our no sew option here. We're going to pick this time we're going to use a straight line tool because I just want to draw a line to actually section off this hat. So again, this is going to be our straight line. I've been using the point to point here in the past, but the straight line tool is going to work really well for us in what we're doing here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from this section down to this section. And because it's a no sew line, all I need to do is make sure that that whole area is cut off. I'm going to do the same thing from the middle of our bow here down into here. So again, all I've done is I've drawn a barrier to section off this hat. So now if I want to come over here and do my fill, all I have to do is click on that paint bucket again. This time it's only going to section off a portion of the hat on both sides. And that way I can go in and pick up some of my decorative fills. And let's say for lack of a better thing, we'll do her in bricks here and change the color so you can see it and we'll click in the middle there. And so now we've got three different sections to the same little brim there. So again, that's utilizing the no sew feature to actually section off portions of your design. So it's another really neat little feature that you can utilize. Um, as some people might not have thought of it, but you can, you can do some fun things with it. Um, so last thing I want to show you on the no sew icon is actually setting or uh, um, creating holes within your design. Um, I'm going to do that. We're going to go ahead and start over here and we'll go ahead and go back into IQ Designer. I'm going to actually pull in, let's say we wanted to make a tire. Um, we can do that um, really nice and simple here. Uh, I'm going to pull in a circle. And you can see we've got our circle created here. Um, nice thing about those shapes is it's a perfect circle. We can go in and we can actually fill in that circle. Um, and nice and simple there. Um, it fills in, as you can see, the whole thing. Um, however, I, I think what I'd like to do is go ahead and pull in a second circle. And this time, we've got another circle selected. We've got one that's filled and then we've got a second circle selected. I'm going to go ahead and touch the size and we're going to make that second circle a lot smaller. We're just going to make it proportionally smaller. So again, now we've got an inner circle and an outer circle. And we can create a hole in this by using our no sew option. All we have to do is go up into our no sew feature here. We click on it and now what we can do is physically touch our icon and touch in the middle of that second circle and all of a sudden we've got our tire or our donut or whatever you wanted to make by creating a, creating a hole. So again, we've got uh, that really nice and easy thing. Now another way you can utilize this is actually, for those of you who like to put bling on your um, uh, or um, rhinestones or, or set rhinestones and things of that nature and you don't want them on top of the embroidery you want them actually set into the embroidery we can actually again utilize our no sew option by coming up and um, we, again we've got no sew selected we've got what we call our paintbrush feature on here we can actually make the size of our paintbrush we can actually adjust how big that's going to be by manipulating this little number up at the top of our screen. I'm going to do about a five on, on that and I'm going to show you again by touching on our paintbrush which is this here. Instead of going into the whole design all we're going to do is create, you can see five is actually really small, um, uh, very very small little pinpoints here. I want to make that a little bit bigger. Let's go up to 15. And again, by touching, now you can see the 15 is going to be a bigger hole within there. 
and we can set all of our rhinestone points so when it actually sews out this satin stitch it's not going to sew out on these so we can actually bling up this donut or this tire or whatever you want to call it really nice and easy and very very fun again by creating holes within the design um, use, utilizing our no sew option but um, with our paintbrush and just using the size that we want to do um, based on the number that we have up at the top here. So again those are just some three three different options for utilizing the no sew feature. Um, I think you guys can have fun with it and do some really interesting stuff. Um, hopefully you'll bring some of it in and show us. So I uh, hope you're enjoying the videos and again uh, look for more here in the future.